Well, good morning, folks, and welcome back to another video with flyfishingwithjeff.com. Um, I am back in Missouri, and I am at Roaring River, which is Roaring River State Park, and um, it's another one of Missouri's four trout parks. <clears throat> Merrimack, Montauk, Bennett, and Roaring River from east to west. <clears throat> and um, uh, it's a little quirky. Roaring River is a little bit odd. There's only one section that you can wade. It's a nice section. It's catch and release all year long. Um, there's a section above and below where you can't wade <clears throat> so I find that a little bit odd but it's a nice place <clears throat> to catch fish it's beautiful country I'm here in catch and release just like I was at Bennett and so <clears throat> that's what we're going to do today we're going to fish a little bit here sun will be up over the uh, bluffs there to the east in just a few minutes and we're going to make our way down and and uh, try to catch a few trout for you and um, enjoy a little bit of the Ozarks out here in southwestern corner of Missouri. <clears throat> if you're looking for Roaring River, go west of Table Rock or look at, for the little town of Cassville, C-A-S-S-ville, <clears throat> and you'll find Roaring River. One little note too is often when I'm at in Branson, if something goes wrong with Tanny Como and I can't fish it, it's about an hour over here and uh, you can fish Roaring River. You can even go be below the river at the park boundary and um, do a little fishing. It's a white ribbon trout area so you can keep a few of the fish that make their way down through there and it's a beautiful area. So. <clears throat> Come along with me today. Let's see what we can find. I've got my three weight and a uh, little cream trout candy. <clears throat> and we're going to see what happens. All right. <clears throat> well, it's taken a couple minutes actually this morning, but I finally got a taker. Had a few swipes. They're being a little bit impolite, not taking. But uh, here we are with our first fish. It's a nice rainbow. Hold on, I'll get you undone. All right. Slide you back out of there. And away you go. So sometimes, sometimes they are a little bit persnickety. If you've done any trout fishing anywhere, you know that. And this morning they are. They're acting a, a little bit... Uh, a little bit shy. They're following some, but they're not taking very <clears throat> aggressively. So, but we're going to keep going. Sometimes the a hatch will pop off, or the <clears throat> sun will become just right, and next thing you know, they're feeding. Well, there was one feeding like crazy. There we go. Starting to come alive a little bit. It's a little better fish here for us. He followed that trout candy three times before he finally committed to it.
Beautiful. Let him get back in there. Another good healthy fish, probably 14, 15 inches. Get him unbuttoned and drop him right back in there. Ah. There we go three times on that swipe before we landed him. Last time, oh, there we go. Last time I just let the fly go. There we go. Hold it right in. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Come here. Let's see what we got here. Back you go. So this is a uh, kind of a new design. Let me rinse this off. Using a jig, 1 64th ounce jig head and bucktail instead of marabou. Let me get it all combed out. Really like this fly. They come, I got these at Cabela's. They sell them in 1 64th, 1 32nd, 1 16th. And I've not tried the bigger sizes yet, but it's a jig fly, so it's going to ride with the hook up, which I've already found 
means less fewer snags and I really like the fly how it looks the bucktail doesn't foul as much as the marabou so that's what we have on and I'm going to do that tie for you here soon show you a little bit about that so let's finish up here a few more feet of catch and release area right here on an absolutely beautiful morning ah had him on right there in nice so I like this fly I like this fly a lot because it looks like the trout candy but um, I'm able to feel the rocks and bump this fly along and so I'm hoping Maybe it will help me out a little bit with a few more hookups and less snags. Let's try that one more time right down through there. that's a good fish to end up with in this little stretch so that was the zone 2 the catch and release flies only section here at Roaring River and in fact the only section that you can wade so 
you get an opportunity. It's a beautiful stretch of water. It's only maybe 300 yards long. You get an opportunity. It's a beautiful place to come and especially in catch and release season. But I've been here several times during the regular course from March to end of October and it's not too busy either. So hope you enjoyed that video and um, can get a chance to get out and enjoy some of this beautiful country that we have here in America. So hope you hope you like the video, hit the like button, send any questions that you have to flyfishingwithjeff.com and I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks for coming along today.